We had a pretty rad morning. Uh, we actually went to my old high school and I went and visited some old teachers. I like to still try to stay in touch with them somewhat. I didn't go last year because of summer school, so it was a little bit awkward, but I'm glad we went. It was nice seeing them. Uh, then I visited my sister. Now I'm going home so I can get yesterday's video uploaded. And then what are we gonna do? Do we know? Yeah, we're gonna wash this. Oh, 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 don't tell them. Don't tell them. It's a secret. Stay tuned. <laughs> So I decided to give another shot at trying to fix my broken fuel gauge. I wanted to take my fuel pump out anyway because I wanted to clean better in here. I really need to put a new one of these uh, gaskets in down here but I don't have one yet. So I might use a little bit of like quick gasket in the meantime. And I wanted to replace one of the hose clamps with a proper fuel hose clamp. Um, but I measured the resistance between this terminal and this terminal and this plug. And it varies properly with the float between like 10 and 90 which I guess is what it's supposed to do. So that means something must be grounding out. There must be an issue down the road with the wire, which is unfortunate because I thought it would be an easy fix. Yet again, we have another car to wash. <laughs> this time, we're washing Adam's 240SX Nissan hatch. But we have to wash this up on the street because his mom's driveway is so steep, I've been sledding down here, that he can't pull the car down here. So we have to pull the hose all the way up here to wash it up here. Let the record hold that I have brought the car down the driveway before. I just destroy my exhaust and it's not worth it. Nope, nope, nope. So. But at least the weather is really nice out this time and it won't dry up right away and it's a little breezy and cool. I feel like I have this pattern wrong with washing my car. I feel like I should wash it after vents. I always wash it the day before vents. So I get like maybe an hour of clean 240 time before it gets dirty again. When you I just... should just go to the event dirty and wash it after. But you want it, you want it to look so nice for the event. Yeah, you know, you never know if people are going to be taking pictures of my bumpers flying everywhere. <laughs> Alright, let me give you a hand. Okay. Look, the wheels look so nice and clean. I did them myself. Very proud. 10 out of 10. Cole's been dying to drive my car, so I stuffed a pillow behind her back. And, and, she, seat and she's driving so we can go fill her up with gas before the event, since I still couldn't get my gas gauge to work. I just, I kind of ran out of time and I got to start loading up the car in the trailer, so... Continue next time. I'm gonna go hit the truck up and get the trailer loaded. That way I'm not doing it last minute in the morning. I'm trying to be proactive about it. Although, I think I'm already waiting kind of last minute. So, getting a little bit stressed just because we still have a lot of stuff to get done. But uh, Nicole's making dinner. So I'm gonna try to get all the stuff done on my own, which shouldn't be too bad. Oh, diesel power. I was hoping that I'd be able to get the car up the ramp without the race ramps, but I couldn't. Um, also, I ripped a piece of the edge up there. I, th I don't think I filmed it last time, but I just tore off the trailer from the exhaust heading it rolling it backwards. So I really gotta figure out a way to get my truck higher so I can angle this back more. Um, I think the easiest way that I figured out to be able to kind of get in and out of the car is to pull it in this far so I can still open up the door and make sure that I'm in pretty straight and then just kind of roll it the rest of the way forward. So I'm a little bit close to this side, so I'll probably roll it forward and kind of point it a little more that way. Then once I have it in this far, I can just use the ratchet straps to pull it the rest of the way forward. And it's way easier without the front bumper, because I can just really get underneath to get access to the tow hooks and really pull it far forward. And I got those front ones super tight, so now I don't have to tighten these ones, which is sick, because they're super hard to get to. It's my little trick. I was having issues with my bumper coming off because my wheels were hitting it. If you look, you can see where uh, my wheel is hitting my bumper. So on this side, I took it and I grinded it down much more narrow. So that's what I'm doing. I really need to start learning to not film when I cut fiberglass because it gets like in my lens. And that's how I keep on ruining these G7Xs. This is like a thing for me. This and beach sand always gets in my camera lenses. Um, but you know what's not as bad as ruining a nice camera? The fact that Nicole just burnt herself. Cooking us a sweet Blue Apron meal. What are we having tonight, Nicole? We are having chicken parmesan with summer squash and cheesy garlic breadsticks. 
you guys know that we use the Blue Apron meal subscription service where they deliver fresh ingredients so we can make sweet dinners. And while we're in Connecticut, we had them rerouted up here so we can make them up here. And Nicole just whipped up the chicken parm while I was loading up the trailer. Double efficiency, wife goals, life goals, knife goals, ripe goals, hype goals. Shout out to the homeboys at Dance Game and Dance. They aren't actually my homeboys, but I really like them. They're trending right now. Their new song's really good, but not as good as the meal Nicole prepared for us. Oh, that's a heavy zoom. <laughs> Nicole killed the game. R.I.P. game. <laughs> Blue Apron is very flexible. One of the cool things, if you're picky like us, you don't have to choose one of the recipes. You can just skip a week if you don't see anything you like. But they usually have a bunch of different options if you're not into seafood, if like you're not into beef. So you can pick the recipes that they deliver, that way you're getting food that you wanna cook. You guys can check out this week's menu and get your first three meals free with free shipping by going to blueapron.com forward slash LZ. Blue Apron has been sponsoring our videos for quite some time now and we could not appreciate it more. It's an awesome brand to work with. They have a really cool service. And I truly think you guys will love how good it feels and how good it tastes to create awesome home cooked meals. It's blueapron.com forward slash LZ. And once again, I wanna thank Blue Apron for sponsoring this video and supporting what we do. Tomorrow we have a two hour drive to Thompson, Connecticut where I will be doing my first tandem competition ever so we should probably get some sleep. So. Begin next day now. I absolutely love going down hills. It sounds so cool. So we're going to Thompson Speedway today and we are going to do a tandem competition. Uh, originally it wasn't a tandem event and I'm kind of bummed about it because two of my friends, Jimmy and Drew, both aren't coming because it's a tandem competition. Uh, I'm still going to do it. Uh, I just really want to drive the track. It should be fun. It seems pretty laid back. I guess they don't do these competition things often. Um, I'm pretty excited. I just want to go have fun, drive my car, and if I do well, sick. If I don't do well, I'll sicker. Cry. I'll cry. <laughs> Until you're sick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow, look at these hills. These are pretty roads. I know. Shout out Connecticut with the road plug. Golf? Or we can go to a racetrack. That racetrack looks really sweet. I wish, I mean, I don't wish that the Tano Company was on the racetrack because that would be super sketchy, but that racetrack looks really fun to drive around. Yeah, I, it I does. think they, I think they might actually let us drive on it today. I don't know. Don't get your hopes up. I just remember hearing someone say that. We drive over a bridge. Are you excited? I'm so excited for you the bridge. You said to wait for the green light. Okay. Very important. Okay. Alright, do you remember where we were to go on the fork in the road? Alright, we've got to go this way. Because <laughs> the right one's closed. This is so much cooler than I thought. We got the green light, babe. The light is green. Let's go. Holy crap. Alright, bunnies. No. We got three bunnies on the right. Oh, we're good. We got this. Race gas at the track. That's sick. Uh oh. I feel like you're gonna hit these. Okay. Okay. <gasps> it's rolling your car. <laughs> it is so excessive. Nice. Heck yeah. First try, man. Success. That's a loud car. Adam got to choose his number, so he picked his lucky number five. Apparently pre-detonation can mess up the gap in your plugs, so I'm just checking the, I'm just checking the gap in all the plugs real quick before this event just to play it safe. It did seem like it might have been kind of being a little hesitant towards a higher RPM earlier when Cole was driving. Look at that caterpillar. It's going to the drift car. It's raining and uh, we're kind of running out of time, so we're just gonna start the event in the rain. Uh, we just went through a driver's meeting. Regretfully, I didn't have my camera, but I'm gonna kind of tell you guys very briefly what they told us. Um, not anything like FD judging. The way that it's gonna kind of work, the lead car will be responsible. That's a loud car. Not, the, not a lead car, a loud car. So the lead car will be responsible. So we're just having style, just making the judges sound like Japanese judges when they're super excited. And then the follow car, they don't want us to get too close because they don't want any cars getting hit. Um, they just said just try to match the lead car's line and try to like time your transitions at the same time. So it should, should be pretty cool, pretty chill for my first tandem competition. Being in the rain is gonna make it a little interesting. It's gonna get hard to film too. 
Yeah, so I probably won't film during practice, then I'll just pull it out when the competition starts. It's really hard to see because we don't have a window defroster and rain just coming in the window. the cars lined up for qualifying so I figure I'll kind of do a little walk around to just show you guys all the cars that are here sorry <laughs> okay. purple in the white car my favorite this is my old BMX friend Andrew Fable Turtles. He says he's homeless, but he's not. I'm definitely homeless. Yeah, we got some sweet tandems earlier. Oh, yeah. It's gonna be sweet. Hopefully, we get lined up against each other. Yeah, or hopefully not. I got one on my car. What? Yeah. Are you number one? Yeah. Like qualifier? Yeah. Congrats. Yeah. This is the uh, Haggard 350Z. Some more 240s. A lot of cool cars out here. I just want to clarify, I said it was the Haggard 350Z, it's actually Don's 350Z. That's good, guys. There's a lot of people here for an event in the rain. That's pretty crazy. And we're dealing with the speakers just as you are. So we do appreciate it. Thank you for braving the weather and braving the uh, audible issues we're dealing with. Thanks. I got uh, eighth place in the qualifier. What'd you qualify? Uh, I think out of how many people? It was 18. 18? Yeah. All right, so we're going to get two qualifying solo runs. And then they're gonna kind of bracket everyone. So it'll be set up like the first qualifier goes against the 16th qualifier, second versus the 17th, etc., etc. I missed my first qualifying run, but here's my second one. My first one was okay. I straightened out a little bit, but. Hey, I have a question for you. What? They, they said no e brake entries. Does that count if, like, you, if I like do the manji and then like kind of e brake and. Yeah. Uh, okay. I, and they were more so just busted shops. Okay. Do whatever you got. Okay, do. yeah. That's, yeah. That's, what, that's how I normally enter. I'll manji and then kind of e brake, foot brake to set myself up right. That's fine. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Driver's meeting? Where do we go after two runs? Where do we go after our two I runs? Think just stay in line, honestly. Okay. They're having confusion over there, too. I'm about to do my first run, and I'm the lead car. I think. You're leading, you're leading from this spot, then you'll switch to that spot after your first lap. Okay. So
My GoPro died during the last clip, unfortunately. Are you up? I don't know. Sketchy. Yeah. My, I should have my windshield wipers going. I couldn't see when I got stuck behind them. You lead from here. Okay. We good? Yeah, he was on me. Yeah. Up here. Oh, I what? You up oh, they, he pointed me in here. Yeah, you're in the final four. Okay, cool. What? Wow. Really? I don't know how. That might be great. Maybe, maybe we didn't see something. Where do I go? Do I go back? Did I actually win that one? Yeah, dude. He, on, your, on his chase run, uh -huh. right behind you, over there, he straightened out. Oh, he did? Because he seemed like he was on me. He, he was. Oh. He was on you until the chase run, right at the end. Oh, tight. Yeah. I, I thought that was like an unfair judgment or something. It's hard without seeing the outside view. But your chase run behind him was on you. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I felt like I was really far. You were like, I mean, you weren't like right on him, but like you were exactly what he was doing. Tight. Thank you. Well, my chase run behind him seemed like it was Dang. On the last turn, dude, I was so pissed. I tried to save it, but I could give it all the clutch kicks I could. This is the halftime show right now, I think. These are the cars in the final four. That's crazy. Hands together, give it to him, let him hear it. Hands together. Did. A lot of skaters, a lot of BMX kids, myself included. You know, when you get the bicycle, it's generally a, way, a means of transportation, right? But when we got our hands on it as kids, we figured, what kind of tricks can I do with this? And that carried right over into the car. I got my first car, and I got bored, and I said, what kind of tricks can I do with this? This is really how this started. A lot of kids I started drifting with. We all rode BMX, either poorly or, you know, pretty well, and we kind of all started driving. Either poorly or really well. It tends to be exactly the same. But we're having fun just like we did in the old days when we were kids. All right, so lead run goes first. He's leading. Do the same thing we've been doing. He's leading? He's going to lead. OK.
up and run. Right moves pretty quick, but it's got a very yeah. short wheelbase, so it's not it's just yeah. a thing to happen. I don't know if these cars are starting to catch up as we come into the last week. The two. judging zone and oh, the two cones. Yeah. These guys are getting one more round because they were so equal. against this car. It's another SR hatch. SR hatch is for the win. You know what's good. Just tried to be super hot boy with it. That was a little sloppy. Oh,
You killing it, man. First and fourth place, Jay Sear. Hands up, Jay Sear. Give it a round of applause. Very well. From Southern Connecticut. Third place, Fremont City event, Rob Rzinski in the black Miata. Round of applause. Very well. And now the drum roll. For second place. First place. First place. First place. Same thing. <laughs> Six of one, half a dozen of the other. Adam LZ wins the competition in $500 all the way from Florida. No. Oh, you just have second place. Second oh. place. <laughs> second place. <laughs> Level of organization is unmatched. Unmatched. Streak unmatched. Yeah. Wow. Whoever won has to stand on their car now. DJ Vandergrass! Yeah. Yeah. Very well! Very well! First place, Adam LZ from Florida. Second place, I apologize. Everybody ever see Zoolander? He walks out on the stage instead of Hansel? It was a movie, it's whatever. to use the restroom and there's just casually a Ferrari, a Lamborghini, and a GTR just chilling here. Had our time finding a restaurant that was open, chose TGI Fridays. Wouldn't you know, prime trailer parking for both myself and my friend Andrew Fable. So dedicated he got a rental truck and a rental trailer to bring his rental 240SX. He's a rented man. Like turtles. Clarification, it's not a rented trailer. I said you showed up with a rented trailer and a rented truck, uh, and I thought it was dedication, but nah, lo and behold. Baby, you ran over a squirrel. I did? Yeah, Do you think that's what sure. smelled? Yeah. Like right now? Yeah, it's over there. Oh no. I'm gonna get all the dislikes. I feel like I'm obligated to film this just because they made it sizzle for me. Like a up plate. She said not to touch this. I have touched it before, and I will let you guys know that you will get burned. So don't do it. Look, I got a piece of wood. A what? Oh wow. Oh, is it not good? Got with my oh. Considering that it was raining and that I'd never been to that track before and that I don't have that much experience driving in the rain or tandeming for that matter, I could not be any happier with the results and how I did. I, I didn't even think that I would make it to the top eight. That was my goal was to make it to the top eight because originally there were supposed to be, I think, 32 drivers. There ended up being 20. So I am extremely happy. And the last match was super close too. I'm, I'm really just happy that with my driving, I didn't spin out or make any stupid mistakes. I normally cannot handle pressure and I just do everything wrong when it comes time to you know compete. I want to thank Lock City Drift for putting on this event. I know it must have been a nightmare trying to coordinate everything in the rain, but it was so much fun for both drivers and I hope spectators too. Everyone was so nice there. There were so many of you guys that actually came out to watch and stood in the pouring rain. So I, I felt like I couldn't let all these people down. So I tried my hardest and I, I really feel like I did really well. And I, I want to thank you guys that came out and stood in the rain because I cannot imagine how miserable that must have been. It was cold, very wet, but it was a great time. And I'm hoping I'll be able to go to another one maybe sometime that's not in the rain and more people can come. My dad was actually supposed to come to that event, but I told him not to because I knew it would suck in the rain. Thank you guys for watching this super long video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more coverage of the event, I know Haggard has a video up. I'm sure a bunch of the other people at the event will have videos up too. Um, it was a great time. Thank you guys so much and I will see you, I think I'm gonna take tomorrow off. So watch an old video tomorrow if you wanna see a video tomorrow. Um, but uh, yeah, I'll see you the day after that. Thanks guys. When you say